Hello, fellow colorists. Just a very, very quick one. I just wanted to share this because I've just been blown away by it. I um, had um, some a couple of things for Christmas that have been really nice. My Mitsubishi pencils as a review on if you're interested in that, or well, my initial thoughts anyway. Um, and the other thing I got was this beautiful Ruby Charm colors, big book of color charts. Um, so Ruby Charms, that's Susan Carlson, and she just does the most amazing uh, stuff um, and I think I saw Colour with Claire do a really good review so pop over to her channel because she's way better at doing reviews than I am um, of this and it sparked my interest so um, yes I popped it on my, on my list and Santa bought me one very lucky so but I just wanted to flick through with the uh, fine liner kind of mind set so if you haven't seen the review from Claire it's basically a big book of colour charts what it says so when you go through it's already got pre-made colour charts um, for all these coloured pencils um, and, and also um, pastel pencils, um, some ink, some watercolour pencils, um, some markers, which is great, and then some blank charts by colour, which I think is a really good uh, idea. Um, you can put all, all your reds, for example, from all your different sets that you have. Um, if you're wanting to look for a specific red, if you're happy mixing, you know, different pencils that you colour with. And then uh, some blank charts, which is brilliant. And then at the bottom, just here, a blank char chart index, which for me, for fine liners, if we look at the markers in particular, I do have um, some of the pencils, which I'm going to go through. Um, and, and definitely put it in. Um, but if, if you look at the markers, there's some um, Arteza Royal Brush Pens, carpet markers, uh, the Faber-Castell Pidardis Pens, Spectrum Noir and Tombow. So I've got four of those. I haven't got any of the Arteza Royal Brush Pens. Um, I have the Arteza Fine Liners though, but I've got copies, well, when I say I've got them, I've got some copies because they're so expensive, only a few. Um, some uh, pit, pit pens, um, I do have the whole set of the Spectrum Noir markers and then I've got some Tombow ones. So what um, Susan hasn't got on there though is the fine liner ones, but that's great because she's given us some blank charts. So I can, um, in the blank charts, create one for my um, Stabilo fine liners, one for my um, uh, Tri Plus, one for the Arteza, one for the Shuttle Art and so on and so forth, um, which is really, really good. And I'll just show you one of them. So if we just have a look at, um, say, the Tombow brush pens. Let's have a look at the Tombow brush pens. So you go to the page number. So it says Tombow brush pens, page 157. And the page numbers are actually at the bottom, um, at the bottom of each page here. So go to 157. If you just flick through, I'll just flick through just a couple of pages what we're finding it there's some really good stuff in there and the, the the way that she's done all the charts they're all different and they've all got like little pictures you can color in and so on it's really really good but anyway 157 so let's flick through to 157 it's 147 that's for the copics 149 that's for the um the pit pens 151 spectrum the wild i've found Filling all those in. Right, 157 Tombow. Here we go. So these are the Tombows. It's quite a it's quite a good way as well of knowing what ones I haven't got. Um, I mean this is as of 2020, so it's bang up to date at the moment. Over time there might be other ones that, that come on board, but you can always just add them in. Um, but yeah, so I, I can go through um, and it says at the top there, Tombow Jewel brush pens consist of 108 colours. Um, with the colours blender and include 12 new colours. Um, I think I've, I've only got a handful. I tend to use them just for backgrounds, so I've got all the lighter ones, but it'll be interesting putting those on there. I'm, I'm really lucky I can buy them. Um, uh, they sell them singly in, at local um, stationery, so I'll just get one every now and then. Um, oh, there's the second page, and there's the 12 new colours there, which is really good that she's got that separately. So that's awesome, can't wait to do that. Oh, there's a, look at that, lovely beautiful picture to colour in there. And then these are marker notes, which is good. So you can put some colour combinations and stuff down here, of uh, particular ones that you like. And then we get to the section on the blank colour chart. So this is where I'll be able to do my fine liner ones. So she's um, put 
uh, a page for the different colours. So you can see that says red. So you literally could put all your reds from all your different sets. Um, and it's a really good way. If you're looking for a particular red, you can just flick to the back and pick it up. But you can put your, you could do your reds with your markers, your pencils, your gel pens, extra, you know, whatever really. Um, so we've got oranges, yellows, blues and greens and so on. Blacks and whites there. And the whites is good. Now these are the blank, blank charts. So you've got a space for the names. So I can straight away put Stablo fine liners. Um, and there's 48 there. And that's actually quite good. So 48 is what the um, Stablo still is. I think Triplus have now gone up to 60. Might be in the 72. I know I go to pack a 60, um, but they're constantly adding new ones. And then we've got from one to 108 there. So you could just use a certain one for that. Oh no, that goes to 216. Oh, that's a really big one then. And this color chart, which is different with boxes, that goes to one to 60. So fine liner one there, another one to 48. This is 72. And then we've got uh, one for 54 again on black. So I've got, actually got a set of metallic gel pens that I could use for that. Um, so that's really good as well. So yeah, and if, as you go through, there's just different sizes, different numbers, and it's repeated. It's really, really good. So it basically covers, I've got loads of pages here. It basically covers on black and white, Plenty of colour charts for you to do whatever one you want. There's loads of them. I'll just flick through. They're all blank that you do. And it finishes with a beautiful picture at the back. So this this book, I'll show you how thick it is. Like, see how thick it is with all the charts on. And it's also got that um, that uh, wheel that you can actually colour for yourself. That's the one on one of the pages, the colour wheel. Um, it's just it's. Oh, it says here 27 pre labeled charts for popular pencil brands, 21 pre labeled charts for pastel pencils, markers, watercolor pencils, and inks, and blank charts for you to arrange. Room for notes um, and a basic color theory color wheel. It's just the best book. Um, I'm not one, f I'm not very good at keeping charts. I've only got uh, my two marker charts because I did them for this channel actually so that I could number them and then tell you what I was using when I was colouring with them. Um, it's the first time I've ever really charted anything, but the fact that it's all pre-done for me, so all I need to do is, is get my um, pen or pencil set out and colour it in, and I've got it all in one book. Oh, it's a brilliant idea. So yeah, I highly recommend this, um, and I'm definitely gonna use it to put all my pencils and markers in. I just wanted to share, share how fantastic it was, so thank you very much. Susan, Susan Carlson or Ruby Charm Colours, go check it out. Alright, see you guys.